Uh, greetings, Scott of Gold. Uh, back again with a, well, another update. Now, this one is, well, not just a quick little vid on what's been going on with the mod. Of course, things have kind of slowed down, unfortunately, but we are still here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is um, I need to check back on certain files to ensure that there's no further um, glitches. I mean, granted, there's, there's probably always going to be glitches, but my best bet is to minimalize them as much as possible. Um, in this video, I'm going to give a small demonstration of what has happened. Now, of course, um, if you want to try this mod, um, at least the quick little hot fix um, I made, it should be in the description down below. Um, if it's not updated yet, that's because, well, it's it has to do with post video um, upload, yada yada. Um, so to make this quick, um, to set it at high speed, now, I will set the days longer. The only reason why I shorten them is so I know that these events work properly. Um, you got the focus tree, of course. You've seen them in past videos. Russia has its own focus tree. Um, yeah, it's got a bunch of different paths on it. Now, for this one, I'm going to show you how to cause the civil war and maybe how to avoid said civil war. And the only way you can avoid it is if, let's say, Paul von Hindenburg retires because of concerns. Now, as you can clearly see, this event fired. Radicals in the cities, they're starting to pop up. You take a stability hit. Uh, aside from this, which is always active, you have um, this one, which gives you more political power to deal with stuff. Although unfortunately there's not really a lot of there is some content for germany from vanilla um i'm having issues with this icon um also if anyone knows how to um like if you're a modder uh feel free to dm me on discord i'll it'll you'll find me in the server on how to fix that i've been trying to figure that out for a while uh, unfortunately, I only have two fascist demagogues right now. Um, I really need to add more when I get the chance to. And Deutsch Stadtlichkeit. So that's going to uh, start causing a lot of chain reactions, as well as the events that tie in with them. Now, of course, Paul von Hitt. Yep, okay, so this will depend heavily on what your next move is going to be. Now, I originally wanted to include factors or variables to based on chance, but I guess because my lack of experience and knowledge in that part of modding, granted I can code, but I guess, I don't know. And besides, it's, it's very, very hard to actually make it line up. But of course, if you have suggestions, uh, feel free to uh, leave comments or if you want to, just go to the server and we'll we'll take your suggestions. Uh, anyways, so let's say change can wait. Now, this one right off the bat will likely cause a civil war or at least lead you to this. So when you say change is in order, he basically, it goes down the path of him resigning and basically the civil war is prevented because the radicals on the far left and far right have called for him to step down in hopes to maybe uh, persuade their politics towards their favor, but I'm not going to get into the depths of it, but basically there's a lot of factionalism in the nation. Uh, so let's say change can wait, and it'll unlock this, Hindenburg's legacy. Now it doesn't matter what you pick, retired, or what's about to come up, assassinated, uh, you will be able to unlock this focus. Now, of course, you can't continue unless if, A, you had a recent election, which can only happen is if you are not 
in a civil war, nor do you have civil war tags, such as unrest and such. I'll have to run through the triggers uh, very soon about that, but it's coming along. Um, as for... Uh, well, there's no unit division templates right now. I guess it might be a conflict with Oob under the historical file. But, like I said, one piece at a time. Also, if you are a coder and you do express some interest in the mod, or maybe if you want to help improve your skills, come join us. And, uh, alright, so... Hindenburg assassinated. Now, of course, uh, <laughs> this is funny. I added this. This means, oh, shit. Um, basically, the Reichstag is the provisional government. Now, that's another portrait I'll have to uh, modify soon, or my team will have to help me with that. Um, but yeah, so once you do that, you're, you are unfortunately stuck in the political department, but of course, over here, you can tamper uh, with, you know, some stuff. There are some ideas missing, but not too bad. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, mechanic gaps, but I'm trying to get to them as best as I can. Now, here is the Civil War. Of course, I gotta change that. And also, aside from this Civil War event, in between this event, before you get this one, you'll get this, Persistent Rioting, which means you will constantly take a stability hit. And my next idea for a mechanic is the more of a stability hit you take, let's say it goes below uh, 50, or maybe below 55. Basically, if it goes below a certain threshold, this event could fire, basically. Now... My other idea would be to, if you persist long enough with good, with above the threshold stability, then it'll basically erase everything in terms of like civil war. Like it'll basically ease tension. How, how this works is the internal politics would, like the dust would start to settle, uh, the what's it the reichstag would find a worthy successor to paul and then an election takes place and you are allowed to pick your party and of course in case if you don't know there are nine ideologies ranging from anarchist to fascist now of course i know there's a bunch of sub ideologies and i know that there's some up ones that are missing such as nazism i guess compared to my other mod but this mod, well, unlike the other mod, which is a historically accurate mod, or at least gets close to it as possible, this one doesn't have that. It's just nationalism. So, um, but of course, you have the basic stuff around it. You've got the syndicalist to syndicalist, aka socialist, to differ from the communist, which they had very, very similar heritage. But, of course, as time went on, that proved otherwise. So, let's say you uh, you get this event, you, you get a stability hit, and then our time has arrived. Now, that is the setup effects. And, of course, uh, well, this was already set up when, he, when Paul was assassinated. But you, of course, get these SA-aligned state and DNVP-aligned state. Those who do not have that basically means Jur, which is the Jur tag, as you can clearly see under Owner Germany. The main government will retain control over these during the Civil War, making it a three-way civil war. That makes sense. So, as time goes by, the game progresses. Reichstag's still in charge. Um, and I think they will still be in ch well. They won't be in charge during the Civil War, now that I think about it, because they will lose control over Berlin. And it seems kind of redundant having the Reichstag portrait. So there might need to be a, I guess you could say, acting president. 
or prime minister. Definitely, or chancellor, one of them. Doesn't matter. Um, head of government. So once the time goes by, once you have those triggers set, once you align, don't worry about those events. And yes, some stuff can happen. Like, I've had wars with Meknovshina and the national uh, Russian state, which they too have had ambitions for this area, but that's a whole other thing of content. Blockade the street, of course you get that. And here it is. So this is one of the triggers that you'll need. Siege of Ingolstadt, which is the settlement right above Munich and south of Nuremberg. Um, I was going to add another book, or not a bookmark, but a state modifier here, but I think the event speaks for itself, and as you can clearly see, you're still stuck on Jur, but um, as long as you, I guess, either pause the game or basically... If you pick the democratic path, then you'll inherit this. Now, this is another mechanic I will have to fix. Like, it should pause right when this event shoots. It could be an option thing. I can't exactly uh, remember what it was. But whatever the case, it should pause right here. Then you get to pick your faction. So you have the democratic faction, which that leader is going to change. You have the Ernst Rom as leader of the SA, in this case but using the Bavaria tag. They are under the syndicalist ideology in this game. However, they are under a sub called the third position, as what we like to call it. The third position, of course, as is a political and ideological stance that doesn't pertain to conventional groups of socialism or syndicalism. Adopting and hybridizing into a syncretic conglomerate, a little misspell right there, through factions and or populism. So basically, it's a very, it's a very mixed bag of what's going on here. Um, actually, I think this guy uh, has some Nazi inspiration in there. But of course... This is a different version of the ideology we've known in real life. So if you want to ask more questions of what this group is like, feel free to join the server and we would definitely um, get back to you. On the other hand, the Nationalist, who uh, they are not aligned as the main party. However, there are three other major parties representing them. They're all DNVP, and they are made specifically to help the player. Like, if you go down the, this path, the DNVP path, you can choose monarchist, nationalist, or fascist. And, of course, the German National People's Council, that's their provisional leadership. That is until they, too, have their own election, once the Civil War is over, of course. Now, each... A unit. Um, unfortunately, there's no units for democratic Germany at the moment, which I probably should have added beforehand, but you know what? I figured I'd showcase this anyway, just to show you what's been going on, but that'll probably be my next thing I'll add. So let's, let's start off with going to the nationalists. Now, the nationalists have a good amount of troops, same as the uh, SA. The only downside with these factions are is that each one will get different modifiers that will affect their overall performance in this war. So for example, these troops are would not be as numerous. You will not get a lot of manpower growth, but these troops would be very trained. Whereas down here, these troops would be more numerous than the ones above or to the west. Because along the Rhineland, you get, I guess, moderate troops. They're not, they're basic troops, but they serve the central government, which is currently in exile from Brandenburg. And they pretty much had to flee to, I think, an area called Kolm. I know they're Stuttgart, 
is their current capital, but that's too close to the SA, so I might have to move it up here. Um, you're probably wondering, too, why isn't it Frankfurt? Well, it's because of the proximity. Like, you have the DNVP coming in from the north, and then you have the SA coming from here. Defending this area would be very costly uh, as the main government, which is why I figure, you know what? Go behind the riverbank so that this way it helps them. Now, of course, it is possible to hold Stuttgart or pretty much a good amount of Baden and the Rhineland, such as Darmstadt as well, or Mainz, Muzzle land area. But keep in mind, if you if your troops don't have good defense, they're going to buckle under pressure. Now, here's the other thing. Uh, I do plan a focus tree, and I'm announcing this. Do plan a focus tree for each of them. Now, it will use similar aspects of the main German focus tree. However, there will be some differences, such as uh, down here could be a Civil War mechanic that adds for each. It's basically a branch, if you will. Some other mods have done it, too. It's pretty cool. Um, something cool to adopt. And, of course... Um, once, once that, once you get the hang of it, then you're pretty much all set. I will reorganize the oob uh, soon, but, um, but yeah, this is so far how you start the civil war. Um, I will keep you guys up to date. Um, maybe it doesn't have to be for Germany. Uh, we can update you on, let's say, Russia again, or maybe we can talk a little about China. Uh, but. I'll let you guys decide. What do you guys want me to talk about next on this mod? Comment down below, leave a like, and if you don't know when I'm going to post my next video, please smash that subscribe button so that this way you don't miss any new updates from me and the mods team. So, have a great day. Gotta Gold is out. Stay safe.